Hey guys, it's M. And today we're doing another tier list. This one is um, very subjective, as I'm sure you could guess. I'm gonna be ranking the HNK tier list. Also, before we start anything, I need y'all to know how much work I put in before this video started. So first we have the Kang arc. People might think, oh, this is when uh, Ken fights Sal, uh, oh, Salvin? Some people may think this is when Ken fights Shin, but this is actually the build up to that. And I don't really remember that. <laughs> I know this is where we got like Spade, Club, and all of them, but that wasn't really a memorable arc. Ken versus Shin, I think, is easy A tier. Because Ken versus Shin was like the first big fight, and that's when you're like, oh shit, this Ken guy is pretty good. Golan arc, it happened. Uh, the Devil's Rebirth arc is apparently called. It's something stupid. This whole time I thought it was the Devil's Rebirth arc, but according to the Hukto Wiki fandom, this is the Warriors arc. Devil's Rebirth is a cool villain. I liked him more than the Golan arc. But, um, you know, it's just because Devil's Rebirth is more iconic. The Fang Clan arc, there's a lot of credit you have to give when you think about this arc, because this is when Rey got introduced, this is when Mamaya got introduced. Like, a lot of key story points came in this. But the Fang Clan themselves were, like, not good villains. Like, they were just people that existed to get beat up. They weren't really, like, characters. Jaggy arc, you know I want to put this up here, right? Like, we all know I want to put this up here. I'm really tempted to, honestly. Because you have to think about how much the Jaggy arc started, too. Because this is when Ken learned he had other brothers left. Jaggy has one of the most badass introductions out of any HNK villain. Like, the whole arc set up to Ken fighting Jaggy. Granted, it was a wash. <laughs> From everything that starts from this arc, I feel like this was like a peak arc. And now that I'm talking about peak arcs, um, I just remember the Fang Clan had the Death Omen Star scene where like Ray and Mamaya saw it, and that was also really hype. So that's going up in A, honestly. Honestly. I know someone is gonna argue with me that I put the Ken Shin fight under the Fang Clan arc, but like honestly, Ken and Ken versus Shin was a hype fight, but I feel like the Death Omen Star scene had me hyper than that. And Jaggy, aside from him being my favorite villain, there was a lot of things that got started in this arc. Amoeba, uh, sorry fangirls, uh, no. Amoeba's arc really didn't mean anything. It just kind of happened. Like, <laughs> honestly, if this was any other anime, you could probably just say this is filler, because nothing he did really mattered that much. Um, Cassandra arc, or, I don't, I don't know. This dude's name is apparently Russian. I didn't know that, so every time I was saying Oigar, people were like, what? I think it's like Oligark or something. I don't know. I don't speak Russian anymore. Um, I think it was like the best fillery feeling moment, you know? When I say these arcs are filler, I don't mean like they didn't matter. Okay, these two definitely didn't need to exist, but Kano arc, I think it's A, because this is we get introduced to Rao, and there was a lot of cool things that happened in that whole time frame but um i don't know i told y'all guys earlier i didn't really like Rao when his when he was first introduced i thought he kind of sucked it wasn't really till like later he became a better villain i think this is a peak moment but it's not like peak for me the medicine city arc this is when mamaya went off to get medicine for ray uh it happened yuda arc it happened i don't know i don't like yuda as a villain there were cool things in it like ken slapping up dagger that was funny <laughs> Let me, let's, let's redo this. These are the arcs that if they didn't exist, I would, I don't think I'd be missing anything. Yuta's arc, I didn't like it, but like, it had a purpose in the story. Uh, Ken versus Salder, or the Salder arc, I think about, I kind of want to put it over the Keno introduction, honestly. Because the Salder fight, that was like the peak HNK1 fight for a point of time. So I feel like it has to be up here. Toki versus Rao, I think, is really when this story started getting good. Because like, that's when they started just going off of like, the brothers dynamic, and that's what they made start running the story forward. So I think this is, this, this is a really good arc. Ryuga arc? Um, I like Ryuga, I guess, but he wasn't like, a good enough villain for me to like, love that whole story. The chariots arc uh this is i have to think about how much happened in the chariots arc because this is like this is the Rao ken fight arc like i think this is when Rao gets mt the chariots arc is like the tower and everything before that and it ends at like the fudo fight i think this is th th this was also like peak h and k though i'm trying to remember the emotions i felt because this is when Rao actually became a good villain and he was written well so i think it's up here it's not because of the chariots but it's just because Rao was carrying the arc uh ken versus Rao fight i feel like i have to put this in s tier <sighs> Falco arc? Uh, oh god, okay. I liked Falco though. I liked Falco more than I liked Ryuga, I think. 
because the rest of these happen for a point but i don't really care about them i kind of care about you know these two like ryuga mattered ish i don't want to put any hnk2 work above it but like honestly if you want me to be real this is how i'm feeling right now I liked Falco, and I liked Ayn, like you have to think, that's all the characters that got introduced in this arc, like Falco, Ayn, all that setup stuff happened. Asura arc, um, I think it's in A, but I don't know where, because the Asura arc is such a long ass arc, like it's not even really that fair, because so much happens in it, like from the beginning, like we're starting from Akashachi drops off Ken to Kaio death, like that's a ton of chapters right there, chapters 161 to chapter 210. It's not a comparison between the rest of these arcs, but the thing is HNK2's writing is so bad Like I don't think I can't think of any moments in the Asura arc I put an S tier like nothing they do is that cool like Kaio is cool But I don't really care like Jaggy's arc. I like Jaggy more as a villain than Kaio and that's a shame like Rao being the villain peaks anything Kaio and Han and Kyo and all them did Bro, there's so much shit in this arc. I feel like I have to. I have to. Like, it's not It's not fair. I basically have to put, like, all of HNK2 above some arcs that weren't even as long. If only- if this was broken up into pieces, like, if they said, like, the Han, Hyo, Blank arc, then I would, you know, put them accordingly. But since this is basically all of HNK2, I feel like I have to put it there. Uh, Ryo, Ryu arc. This kid's name is apparently Ryu. Um, I don't even- like, do y'all remember the villain? <laughs> like, I don't. I think it was just a fat dude. Yeah, honestly. Like, I I know Ryu is like uh, Rao's son, but like that just didn't, it, it could have not happened. The Sam arc or the Sava arc is apparently this is what it was called because I think that was her name or like the land's name. Um, uh, it sets up into the Baron arc and I kind of like the Baron arc. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like it was all right. It happened. Baron arc, I like Baron as a villain. I really do. Uh, I don't think he, he's not over any of these moments, though. We got the board chart, easiest decision of my life. <laughs> Arc is so bad. Let me make sure I have these in, like, the proper order. This is my HNK Arc tier list. Feel free to leave your own comments, as I feel like a lot of people are going to come and be crazy for the Jaggy placement. But, um, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. As always, I'm glad to talk to you all in the comments. And with that, I've been M, and I am out.